Hey everybody, it's the Silly Nerd Show! Okay, hey guys, in case you haven't noticed, I'm in yet another position. And I'm talking a little fast because I'm just really frustrated because I keep on having to repeat myself because that camera is fucking annoying. I don't like swearing on YouTube, but fuck! Okay, so I figured out the problem with my um, camera, why it was uh, broken. This would be because I was using... Okay, I, I, I'm cheap. I don't have an actual like video camera that you charge by plugging in the wall. I ha I'm cheap. I use a picture camera that has video. Anyway, so it takes, you know, like double A batteries, right? Well, I had been using... The reason why it wasn't working is because... See if I can get the logos there. Using these. A Duracell and an Energizer. I really thought it didn't, give, it didn't matter because they're both double A batteries. Like... But then I tried putting two energizers together, and it worked. Okay, actually my brother had told me to do that, and it, that's why it ended up working. But then there were some issues with the memory card, and yeah. So I'm going, I'm a little frustrated right now because this camera's gonna fucking kill me someday. But yeah, I am saving up for a new camera because I mean this one was like 70 bucks, so no wonder it's such, it's such a piece of shit. Okay, um, hi. It's uh, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving weekend. For any of you who doesn't know, in Canada we have our Thanksgiving weekend, the second weekend of October. So, yeah, but guess what I was doing? No, I wasn't sitting down with my family over a turkey dinner, praying for what I'm thankful for. Yes, my family is Catholic. No, I don't like it. Well, I mean, with my circumstances, it's hard when your family is Catholic and frowns upon certain things. Anyways. So, instead of, you know, enjoying my grandma's turkey dinner, I was at my step-grandmother's house. We did not partake in any turkey dinner feasting. No, the closest we had was some takeout chicken. Why was it? Oh, and I'm extremely sore. And for any of you wondering, why am I... Why is this? Well, let's see, my... This is a somber topic, but my... Okay, my stepdad, his mother, my step-grandmother, is dying of very severe cancer. Like, she's down to 60 pounds, living in a home designed for people who are dying, of, you know, just a place to die, basically. So, yeah. And still the matter of her affairs. So, we, we, like, we had to sell the house because, well, it's all the way in Quebec City, so... And it was kind of given, kind of split between my stepdad and his sister. Stepdad lives with us, like, here in, here in Ottawa. That's, like, six-hour drive away, at least, from... Six-hour drive with zero traffic whatsoever and zero construction. Six-hour drive from Quebec City. And then his sister lives, um, Montreal, but not, like... Okay, Montreal's, like, really big the way Ottawa's really big. But actually, I think it's bigger than Ottawa. But it's, it's, it's not quite Montreal. It's kind of near Montreal. Like, it's just before on the way, I think. No, no, it's... Well, it's at, just outside of Montreal. It's a, The town that they live in is just outside Montreal. I don't know the details. I've only been there twice. And one of the times was when we were dropping off furniture at their house this weekend. The other time was a Christmas party where... Okay, I'm not going to get into that now because... Creepy step uncle. I'll just tell you that much. Who flirted with me and he's creepy. Okay, nothing happened, don't worry. He just kind of like moved my hair to the side and said, you're very beautiful, you know? And I'm like, fuck off, it's so creepy. Yeah, it turns out he was drunk. He does that to everyone when he's drunk. All the girl, every single woman there when he's drunk. So that's why, but it's still fucking creepy. <laughs> like, I don't care if you're drunk, don't. You're like nearly 40 and I'm like 17. It's creepy. Anyways. So this weekend, I had to see him again, except he was useless. He, like, everyone else was moving furniture, and he was just standing there. He's, he, okay, everyone was being so pissed off at him. Oh, and also there's the issue of my stepsister, who absolutely despises me. That was fun. So I'm a little pessimistic. Like I said, I'm a little grumpy and frustrated today. As you can, and I'm tired, as you can see from these ugly bags under my eyes, of which I put, like, a bucket load of makeup on. No, I didn't, but a lot. I had to put tons more cover-up than I usually use. Just so that it wasn't, you know... Like, black and blue, like I look at it punched in the face both uh, both eyes. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah. So anyway, so, um, but no, no, I got the responsibility of taking care of Gabrielle and Andre, my step-cousins. 
Gabrielle six, Andres three. So, um, these kids have a freakish amount of energy. <laughs> like, I do not understand how these kids can have so much freaking energy. Like, holy shit. I am so sore. Okay, because their favorite thing to do is super jump. Where you pick up the kid and you put them, you're, you're holding them the whole time. Of course, I don't throw them up in the air, but I'm like, mount. Okay, I can't, I can't demonstrate very well because my, I'm sore. It hurts to do it. Anyways, oh, and then that wasn't bad enough. They like going upside down, but you can't just, you know, hold them upside down. Like, well, that's, that's hard enough as it is. No, no, you have to hold them securely. And they're w wriggling around and laughing their head off. And they, th they think it's the funniest shit in the world to be upside down. And then that's not bad enough. You become a jungle gym. Oh, God. They were climbing all over me. They were sitting on my shoulders. They were, you know, like I'd be staying, if I had my back to them and they were standing on the bed, they jumped on my back to for a piggyback ride. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. No, no, that wasn't even the worst. I eventually just got so tired of just lying on the bed that they were playing on. And they used me as a trampoline. They were jumping on my stomach because it was funnier than jumping on the bed. And then, I, I at least Gabrielle understood. The older one that she, uh, like, I'm like, okay, Julie. Yeah, so she understood not to step on my ribs or my hip bones or any bones in general because that hurts. And she, she understood just to put it right, you know, well, here, I'll stand up so you can see, like, right there type thing, her feet. She wasn't, she wasn't jumping like that. She just wants to see if she can balance on the belly, which, you know, is, is wobbly because I'm breathing, too, here. So, so I had to flex my ab muscles so she wouldn't, you know, squish my innards or something. Oh, God, that wasn't, that wasn't that bad with her. But the thing is that Andre doesn't speak English. And what French, and he's three, so it's, he just, I understand why he doesn't speak English, but, like, he's first, he lives, you know, in Quebec, which is a French province, so. A nation within a nation. I'm gonna get technical. Anyways, but, uh, yeah, so... God, he was jumping on me, and he was digging his toes into my rib cage, and he like was jumping around. And at one point, okay, this is a bit of a girl thing, but at one point, he jumped on my boobs, which okay, all women here are going, ow, because okay, you know guys, you, that your your crotch is sensitive because your balls, our boobs are sensitive, okay. And then so he jumped on them, and then he th and then my reaction going, ow, like ow, can hurt my back, so my back hurts too because I just lurched forward. Anyways, so. He thought it was hilarious because I, you know, lurched in pain. And then he started hitting me. And I'm like, oh, can I stop it? All right, all right. I'm like, and then I'm like, uh, so, Gabriel, please tell him to stop hurting me. Because, <laughs> like, I'm alone with the two kids. And then I'm like, using me as a jungle gym because the only other two people that would, you know, were kind of designated to take care of them was stepsister Rebecca, who's too busy doing this all the time. And I'm supposed to be texting. I could get my actual phone and pretend to be texting. And then my little sister, she didn't really want to take care of the kids because these kids were freakishly energetic, like I've already illustrated. So she wanted to help with furniture. So she was just sitting there. You know, wrapping up the glassware and, you know, carrying light boxes around and all that stuff. Yeah. Not fun. Oh, and I was, I'm sick too now. Like, I, I'd gotten a cold, so I was like taking a bunch of cold medicine. Excuse me. Anyways, so... But now I'm just... Oh, my body's like, why were you doing that all weekend? Because I'm sore, I'm exhausted. And my cold's gotten so much worse because I wasn't resting like I should have been. Anyway, so that was my shit-tastic weekend. And I feel like making a video because I'm not very good at making videos. And Oh, I, I finally started Skull Degree 5. It's actually really good. As usual! Okay, I should really stop making the video now because I think it's already 10 minutes long. I really gotta get a timer so I stop, you know, rambling on for ever. Cause I could talk and talk. Oh, actually, my throat's getting sore, so I should stop talking. <sighs> bye bye. Peace. Everyone's allowed to have a bad day or a bad few days.